right, peace and love, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Ratchet Oracle 22. This is going to be a message for the divine masculine and the divine feminine for May 2022, okay? So what I'm getting um, is that things are now being shifted, okay? I'm getting that the Divine Feminine has gone through a lot um, and has ascended, okay? I'm getting that the Divine Masculine has gotten left behind, but the Divine Masculine is now about to go through their dark night of the soul phase, okay, in order to ascend so that they can catch up. This is Rod Wave here on the TV. He just, uh, on this side, I don't know what song this is, but he just said, I wonder why things don't change, okay? He said, before it gets better, it's going to get worse. I found happiness again. Okay, he said, through all of the issues and all of the pain, I'll find happiness, okay? He said, Nights turn into day. I wonder why things won't change. The more I stay, the more it hurts. Before it gets better, it's gonna get worse. Through all of the issues and all of the pain, I found happiness again. So that's what I'm saying. Divine Feminine, this is you, okay? Through all of the issues and all of the pain, you found happiness within yourself, okay? You ascended and you left the Divine Masculine behind. But we're going to get energy. Um, We're going to start with the Divine Feminine energy. Spirit, give us a collective mes message for the Divine Feminine for May 2022. Give us a collective... Okay, we have... So shine bright like a candle if that is not confirmation okay divine feminines you have ascended look at that you have ascended it says shine bright like a candle you will make it through this okay so just like he just said in the song through all of the issues and all of the pain i found happiness again so divine feminine I'm definitely feeling like you made it through something. You made it over something, okay? Now you're shining, just like this card says. But if you look, if you look in her eyes, there's a bit of sadness, okay? Because I feel like you're missing your divine masculine. Or just like when the song started, it said, you know, nights turn into day. I wonder why things don't change or won't change, okay? So look at her eyes. This is you, Divine Feminine. You're wondering why it's been so long and why your Divine Masculine hasn't caught up or why your Divine Masculine hasn't done what it is that they should have been doing, okay? You're, you're feeling some type of way. Although you found happiness in yourself, look at her eyes. It's like, it's this bittersweet thing. It's like, you, you ascended, but... You feel like you lost something, okay? You feel like you lost something. Let's see what else came out here. Such a curious dream. You're dreaming, okay? You Spirit is telling you to follow your heart, to listen, pay attention to your dreams, okay? Your dreams are telling you a lot about your divine masculine, and where he is in life and where he is in this journey. And especially as it relates to you in the soul journey that you have with this divine masculine, okay? So a lot of you could be having dreams, okay? Where your divine masculine is coming to you telepathically in the dream state. You got number 43, manage to be glad, okay? This card is about finding happiness regardless of the situations, divine feminines. So I feel like you're in this waiting stage, okay? And some of you are getting tired of waiting for this divine masculine because you want things to happen in your timing, okay? And follow the white rabbit. 
All right, Spirit is saying keep following the breadcrumbs, okay? They're going to lead you exactly to where you're supposed to be. Follow the white rabbit. So some of you could be seeing symbolic meanings of um, the white rabbit, okay? Like you could be standing behind someone and you may see a tattoo, divine feminine, of like a white, white rabbit or something, just like in the matrix, okay? But I feel like what this spread, initial spread is saying for you, Divine Feminine, is make sure you're paying attention to the omens with the Fall of the White Rabbit card, okay? Someone could be 43 years old, okay? Managed to be glad. So you could be 43 years old. Look at that. You see the number 43? I feel like someone is 43 years old. Someone could also be 45. Someone could also be 36. Because these are the numbers that we have in this reading. So you could be 36, you could be 45, you could be 43, you could be 3, you could be 34, you could be 54, or you could be 63, okay? But I feel like Spirit is saying, pay attention to the omens, follow the omens, be glad in the moment, okay? Create your own happiness regardless of the conditions around you, ground yourself, okay? The 45 card says, coming home. So I feel like Spirit is saying, come back down to, come, stop worrying yourself, Divine Feminine, and come back home to your safe place, to what you know. I feel like truth is home. So I feel like this is Spirit telling you to come home to your truth. What is the message for the Divine Feminine for May 2022? Yeah, you're... There's going to be a lot of messages coming to you through the dream state. All right. Follow the white rabbit. A lot of omens and messages coming to you. You're shining bright. All right. Look who's showing up for you. Your emperor. Look who's showing up for you, Divine Feminines. So the Emperor is definitely showing up in um, your energy. Just like I said, you are, you're, this person is going to be showing up in your dreams, okay? The Emperor, this person could, the Emperor is the fourth card, okay? So this person could be born, um, this person could be born on the fourth day or the fourth month. Or cancer is the fourth sign. I can't deny it's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, but something about the number four, okay? But the emperor is an older person. This person could be older than you, okay? Or, or you could be older. There could be some type of age difference between you and this person, okay? Divine Feminine. Someone could have four children. That's too many cards. Wow, four again. Four of winter. Okay, so this is four is repeating. You could be seeing um, repeating four is the card says set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. There's a solution that will come to you through meditation. There's a need for you to rest. All right. So again, divine feminine. You can't let the delays of your divine masculine like keep you stuck in this low vibrational energy, okay? You got to move on and let this person find their way, okay? You got to focus on yourself. Yeah. The eight of summers, the desire for a more meaningful life, the ten of um, autumns, okay? You're wanting that commitment, okay? You're You're wanting... You're, be, you're getting weary, okay? You're getting weary. You're getting weary, Divine Feminine. But Spirit is asking you for you to be patient, okay? And to find the happiness in the, the things around you, okay? Continue to work on yourself and to continue to build yourself up. Wow. 
Oh, yeah, Five of Wands, Leo energy, Heartbreak energy. Just trying to catch a little vibe. Cause I get lost in my thoughts and I cry. All right. So you got the five of wands. You got the magician card. You got the um, ace of swords. And you got the hermit card. Okay. So divine feminine. I feel like you are. Um, you're in this energy of. Feeling defeated. Okay. That's the five of wands. You feel defeated, okay? Divine feminists, I feel like you were shown something, okay? You were shown something or something was revealed to you or something is about to be revealed to you about some, like, someone doing some type of magic on this connection, okay? Look at the magician card. All right. So you got the five of wands, which is the defeated card. You have, then you have the magician card. You got the ace of swords and the hermit. So some type of clarity or something was shown to you. Look at this lamp. The ace of wands is clear. I'm sorry. The ace of swords is clarity. And then right next to that is the hermit card and the, um, the magician card. Okay. Look at the hermit card where the light is being shown to the situation, okay? Look at that. You see that? So it's like something is being shown to you, divine um, feminine, where you're, be, you're seeing that there was some type of magic or some something somebody did some type of spell work or something um on this connection okay because they wanted you to feel defeated they wanted you to walk away with the five of wands card okay they wanted you to feel like this was a battle that you could not win okay wow so Let's clarify, because that, I mean, that's self-explanatory. And then we're going to look at divine masculine's energy. But I definitely feel like they're reading this, like, someone, you could have found some information, or you you could be about to find out some information. Or remember your spread said something's going to come to you in a dream. So I feel like something's going to come to you in a dream and let you know about someone who put, who did some type of black magic on your um connection all right i already know what time it is wow low key he said he fresher than a motherfucker low key he's stressing like a motherfucker but listen, you already know what time it is. So some of y'all already knew that the only reason this connection ain't come together is because somebody else got in the way. Somebody did something. But for some of y'all, I feel like this is not even in this lifetime. I feel like there is some type of generational curse on your bloodline. You Why? Because you got the Ten of Autumns, which is the Ten of Pentacles. This is a, in something inherited. This is something inherited, okay? So I feel like there is a curse that has been broken. But you, you don't see it yet. But there was a curse on your bloodline. There was a curse on this connection. Child, I can't even read that. Oh, Aries. Your person could be an Aries. I hope y'all can see that. Y'all, your person could be an Aries or you could be an Aries. You got B movie. Okay. You can need to watch B movie. 
You got, I forgive you. So divine feminine, you forget. I feel like you've forgiven this person in May. I feel like somebody is coming to you and asking you for forgiveness and you're deciding to forgive your divine masculine. Wow, you got baby, it's going to be okay. Your divine masculine is speaking to you. You got three sisters. She the youngest. Okay, so you could be the youngest of three siblings. Or your divine masculine could be the youngest of three siblings. Dum -dum -dum, kind of girl. But nobody knows how to make love. Everybody need somebody when you find somebody he said i done been all around the world i done met all the kind all kind of girls everybody know how to fuck but don't nobody know how to make love like you do so yeah chiropractor okay somebody's trying to break your back divine feminine but you might really need to go to the chiropractor okay defend yourself defend this connection okay don't you back down do not, you felt defeated, but no ma'am, no, no ma'am, divine feminine. All right, you got balloon. So something could be blowing up. You got 4251. We're going to pull one more. Lover boy, look at that. That's your divine masculine. A lover boy out here, chat. This is the problem. Because he done been just like he's singing in the Broadway fan in this song. Your divine masculine done been all around the world. He want to be in everybody's face and be cute and be seen. Look at that. He, just, he probably a Scorpio because Drake called himself a lover boy. And Drake is a Scorpio. Look at that. Like, child, that's his problem. I said that was it, but we finna see. It say do not engage, okay? Do not engage in pettiness. Remember what they said. Don't. Because this person is not ready yet, you will reap what you've sown into this, okay? Divine feminine. Because this person is not ready yet, don't take it personal. We finna look into the divine masculine energy, okay? We finna look into the divine masculine energy. Spirit, give us a, a message for the divine masculine Give us a message for the divine masculine in this situation. Shuffling for the divine masculine for May 2022. All right, agreement. Uh, agreement. The number 24. So May 24th could be significant, okay? If you look at this photo, you see strawberries, okay? So you could be eating strawberries or there could be something significant about strawberries with you and your divine masculine, okay? Maybe y'all share like an intimate moment or something with strawberries, but I'm seeing strawberries here. I'm seeing the number 24. So someone could be 24, okay? This is also six. You and this person could have been in the connection for six years or something like that, or you could be six years apart, okay? Or someone could be born in the month of June, or someone could be a cancer. No, not a, yeah, wait, not a cancer, but a leave, no, a Virgo, I'm sorry. A Virgo is the sixth sign, yeah. So someone could be a Virgo, but agreements, I'm getting contracts and agreements, okay? I'm getting contracts and agreements. So we, I mean, we finna, this ain't enough. We got to see what else. Cause this could mean they come. I originally thought like, okay, your divine masculine is coming into agreement with you, but I don't want to jump the gun and just say that. Cause this could just mean, you know, maybe they're in another agreement or something. So we're going to see what else we get. But the May 20, since this is a reading for May, May 24th is very significant. Okay. So you got agreement, attraction, okay? You got 24 and you got 34. And notice you got 34 in your dick as well. So you guys are mirroring each other, okay? The divine masculine over here in their spread has 34 and you got 34 in your spread. 
So there could be a 10 year age difference between someone or you could have been with someone for 10 years or longer. But you have the attraction card, which is pansy. Someone's favorite color could be purple. What's the energy of the divine masculine? 34 is seven, okay? So someone could be born in July. Someone could be a Scorpio. Someone could be born on the seventh day. He said, nobody told me the role. Yeah, protection. The onion card, the number nine. I said, my whole life I've been working so hard. So I feel like the Divine Masculine has 24, 34, and 9. I feel like the Divine Masculine is completing a cycle with this 9 card, okay? But I feel like just like you got in your side, like, this, there's people that don't want to see this union come together, okay? Because you got the protection. So I feel like this agreement, the attraction is still there. This is Rod Waves 2019, okay? That's what the song is called. So something significant for you about 2019. You were with this person in 2019. He said, did you see it coming? You should have seen it coming, okay? But something about this relationship needed protection or something. At the bottom of the deck, you got positivity, the Leo card, number 40, Marigold, okay? So you could be 40 years old or you could be a Leo or your person could be a Leo and could be 40. This person could be 34, 24, okay? This person could be a life path nine or could be in their nine year cycle. But I feel like this person needs protection right now. This person could be trapped in an agreement because of some type for some of you guys this person um fell for some type of physical temptation with the attraction card and got and signed some type of contract or agreement somewhere else and then for some of you i feel like this person is completing this cycle okay with the nine card and wanted to come into agreement the, the attraction is still there the agreement still stands or something he said so deep in love she the one that i was rolling with that's your this that's your divine masculine speaking to you in 2019 so deep in love he the one that i was rolling with she the one that i was rolling with All right, that's it. They don't want to give us nothing. Shuffling for the divine masculine. All right, you got the Libra card. All right, relationships, okay? Wow, contracts. All right, the justice system. Partnerships. So someone could be a Libra in this situation. But the card says cooperation to perfect, to perfect. So my first thought was right, okay? Remember in the beginning, I said this card, the first thought I had with the agreement card was that your divine masculine was coming into agreement with you. This is the confirmation, okay? This divine masculine is coming into agreement with you because that's what cooperation means, okay? So I feel like your divine masculine is going to finally be made to cooperate. Something's going to happen, okay, where they're finally, uh, like, remembering this agreement protecting this agreement with the protection card and they're finally like coming together and working together they've made a decision okay in may to come together some way somehow um i guess i could pull from Damn. What's the energy of the divine masculine? But 
for some of us a Libra. But I feel like the divine masculine is going towards the judge, okay? They're going before the judge with the Libra card, okay? Because of an agreement. And now they went to the judge and the judge was like, okay, um, this agreement still stands. So now they're finally cooperating because I don't know, they're not trying to go do no jail time. All right, wow, did I, oh, whoa, whoa, look at that. I said they was going to court justice. Divine masculine is going to court, okay? Your divine masculine is going to court. Legal situations, okay? Police, finding out the truth in a matter, affecting the balance, okay? You're, I just said, well, I feel like with the Libra card, it, that your person was going before the judge. As soon as I said that, the justice card fell out. Y'all saw me shuffle that, okay? So, yeah, your divine masculine is in court for this, um, but not abiding by this contract. You have, that's the gravel. The courtroom, okay? Order in the court is what I'm hearing. Order in the court. Wow, divine masculine. Wow. That's the number, of, the justice card is the number 11 card in this deck as well, okay? So this person could be born in November, okay? This person could be a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. This person could be born on the 11th day. This person could be a life path 11. He just broad wave just said, you don't know what you do to me. I forever want you next to me or something, child. This person going to jail, child, spiritual jail, okay? You can't just be out here signing contracts and then lying. Like, your word is bond is what I'm hearing, okay? Your word is everything. And I'm getting at your divine masculine, okay? Just, I don't know what this person did. But they were just out here signing contracts and being, I had to fix the deck. And not just being a liar, okay? I'm just going to be straight up. Your divine masculine, masculine was out here being a liar, and now they have to go before the judge. He said life is precious, but it's... I don't even know what he said. <laughs> Message for the divine masculine. I think he said life is precious, but it's so hard. Okay, so that's your divine masculine, okay? I don't know. They, look, they stuck at the justice car. Ain't no car, ain't no other cars even coming out for them. They stuck in the in the jail. Alright. Wow, the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Alright. This could be a dark-eyed person with dark hair. All right, but the Ten of Wands is weighed down with problems. Very heavy load, okay? Your Divine Masculine is going through it, all right? They got sentenced in the courtroom. We gonna clarify this. But your Divine Masculine is going through it because... Your Divine Masculine is going through it because... They could be an addict. Look what I just seen when I pulled the deck apart. Okay, this person could have... This person could be a sex addict or this person could have turned to drugs or alcohol or something to kind of numb them from the pain of their stresses and their worries based on their choices, okay? He said, anything that pops told me I'm going to take it to my grave or something. So I feel like this person, this divine masculine's father could somehow be involved in this situation. Five, five, five. All right, divine masculine guy. Oh, I will make 
things right. Okay, Divine Feminine, this is your div Divine Masculine showing up. Y'all saw me shuffle. I will make things right. Bully. That wasn't on top at first. They were stuck, so I'm going to take both of them. Because this is Bully. Okay, so your person could have like a bully pit bull or a bully dog. Or like, this person could like be being kept in a, a situation by like somebody else you got aladdin so i don't know watch the movie aladdin y'all there's a message from your divine masculine in the movie aladdin wow as soon as i said that look what signs there's a sign in that movie go watch that movie Lunar Eclipse. Wow. So this Lunar Eclipse is going to be something for your Divine Masculine, okay? All right. They, they, I'm listen. Selling lies. Selling lies. You can't be around here. Selling lies, Divine Masculine. You around here selling lies. Wow, never learned how to trust, okay? So, okay, Divine Feminine, get some truths are coming out. This person around here selling lies, they never learn how to trust, okay? And this lunar eclipse finna reveal something to them. Yeah, so they've been too lazy to work for this connection. Hard to tell a nigga not to shine when all he know is hard times. Poor hygiene, okay? So your person is not doing well. Your divine masculine got some poor, like they got, they being late, they depressed, okay? They lazy, they depressed, they got poor hygiene, they can't, they around here still telling lies. They, they just, hmm, they never learn how to trust nobody. All right, Kodak, Kodak, there's pictures, there's something. Somebody got some evidence, Kodak, I don't know. Secrets. Oh my God. Secret. There is some secrets about to be revealed with this lunar eclipse about your person. Okay. Wow. 29. That's the karmic degree in astrology. Somebody could be 29 years old, but that's also 11. All right. Somebody could be born on the 29th or May 29th and April 29th could be significant. Okay. Let's see. There is wisdom in the in the pain, divine masculine. Divine masculine, when you're too emotional, don't act, be still. He just said on the TV, took me to have my own kids to see it different. Wow, see, see, look at your divine masculine. The players club. He out here playing like this is the problem. Children of men. The initial L, so someone's initial could start with the F. The law of polarity, okay? All right, we're gonna pull a couple more clarifiers and call it a day. He just said, I'll be gone to November. Wow. Remember what happened in the, what just came up in the reading? And look, I feel like you did black magic. So somebody can't get over you and they feel like you did something to them. Look what came out. Coming back together. But your divine masculine feel like you did black ma magic. Okay, watch your step, divine masculines. Seven, six, two, nine. Aries again. So somebody's definitely an Aries. Two, two, two. Twin flame energy. Wow, three, three, three. Communication coming in. Too much sugar, okay? 
Disney's Frozen 2. Blueberry Muffins. The Notebook. Wow, that's a love story. The Odd Life of Tim Timothy Green. My Big Fat Greek Wedding. And good luck. We're going to end it with that. Okay, so your Divine Masculine is getting it together. Something significant about the um, lunar eclipse for this person, okay? But I see that in May, you guys, are things are going to begin to come together and cooperations will begin to be made. All right, peace.